they need to give us a grand thumb inspired plaid paint job for it. What do you think? I think so. What's up guys, Dark Deli here playing Ghost Recon Wildlands and today I want to continue my tests on the Mark 18 made by Daniel Defense. Apparently this is like the civilianized version, I'm not real familiar with the weapon. Nonetheless, it has performed excellently. If you saw my previous video where I did the uh, combat test of it versus the 416. If you haven't seen that and I'll have a link to that in the description below, then I'll have some clips from that coming here in a second. We're here at my shooting range because I want to do some bullet drop tests. Now that we've seen how it performs in combat, which is just ridiculous. Again, if you saw that video, I literally killed a guy at, what, like 450 meters with a single burst. Now, I've never seen a rifle do that. This thing is dead accurate. And 450 meters, to be fair, is not a range anyone's ever going to be really shooting an assault rifle at. And literally one three-round burst dropped him. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Uh, we'll, we'll get to some of that footage here in a second. First of all, let's have a look at our rifle. So this is the Daniel Defense Mark 18. I still don't know a whole ton about it, other than what I've seen on Grand Thumb's channel, because I've definitely seen him feature this rifle a lot. You know, I, you know, as a real life soldier, this is a weapon that he likes to use for his own use in various capacities. All right, so having a look at this, let's set it up best we can for um, oh, for uh, range shooting. Let's have a look at the parts here. Yeah, I got, I got distracted there for a second. Let's get a more long-range scope. And also, I want to test and make sure these scopes hit true because this has been a problem with some of the weapons that Ubisoft has introduced into the game is that they don't hit true on their sights. So we're going to test that. We can only do a 30-round magazine, but with this thing's... Uh, this thing has a pretty decent reload speed. Uh, that's fine, obviously. We can um, equip the whole selection of underbarrel attachments but i really think the foregrip v4 is uh you know good or if you want to go with a grenade launcher you're not going to lose much and um i mean yeah for a rifle who can in one three round bursts uh take down an enemy from over 400 meters i don't think recoil, recoil control is a huge concern here let's move on down we we can put a range fire so i'm using the standard kind of setup that i usually run um, and I use this for combat as well as for range testing. What I'll do in combat is I'll use a rangefinder and a shorter barrel. That rangefinder will make up for some of the accuracy I lose with the shorter barrel. But I believe, yeah, because this is a short barreled rifle, I, I want to say these things come with like a 10 inch barrel. Uh, and that's what they're built for. So like, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, so we're stuck with the standard barrel. And we're using the compensator because I never really care about being quiet, nor does it matter here. That said, though. Let's go ahead and run a suppressor on it. It's not going to affect bullet drop or anything in any way. The only thing this is going to affect is um, bullet travel time. And I do feel most people probably run suppressors. The only thing this is going to affect is bullet travel time. Let's go test this on the wall and just test some of... Uh, hopefully that chopper doesn't see us. Let's go test... Let's make sure this thing's sighted in. Probably something I should have done before the video. Now, recently one viewer requested me make a video okay so first we're doing uh this is the uh this is the acog scope just want to make sure it hits on it's right on yeah i just want to test i want to test the acog i just want to test a couple of them we're not going to run through an exhaustive list here but he was like hey i want to see a, a video of some of your stories from the military many of you knew i was in the marines um and i did i, I made like to be fair are we going next or are we going with some iron sights? I made like an hour long video and watching it back, it was mostly just me rambling and there's nothing interesting. And so I'm going to sum it up by saying I did nothing interesting in the military. That said, I, I you know, I may still do a video, but it, nothing cool, guys. Really nothing cool. So it hits nothing, nothing noteworthy. You know, yeah, I was in the military. I did nothing noteworthy whatsoever. Uh, but I, I may make a video for that one viewer because I thought that was an interesting uh, request. It hits directly right where it should. That's good because the reason I test that is because the M16, you know, and I, I believe that was one where viewers had to call out and say, hey, Dark Dally, this doesn't work right. Next, let's check an intermediate scope. Let's check um, 
let's check the PKAS. I don't normally use this one. I just want to kind of run a, a test on three different kind of optics. Make sure it kind of hits true. This rifle seems to hit right on. That's good because some of these have not been. Some of these rifles they've been releasing lately have had weird fluctuations with them. So here's what we're doing today, guys. Now that we're like 20 minutes into the video. <laughs> not really. But okay, we were running the ACOG. Uh, where'd it go? It's probably down here. There we go. We're going to be, just like I, I did a combat test of the Mark 18 versus the 416. Today we're doing bullet drop. Let's go ahead and equip our 416 the same way. So we just use a stock butt stock. We're going to use the Trichicon ACOG. Whoops. There she be. And we're going to be using 30 round magazine. The same foregrip uh, range finder, standard barrel, compensator, um, suppressor. Not that it affects anything, but they're now they're the same. Now that said, the 416 can equip. A longer barrel we may just figure that into the test but first we're going to start off with them exactly the same why the 416 i'm comparing this to the 416 there's a both very high-end ar variants both of these weapons are in real life very high-end uh ar variants although i do believe the mark 18 is blow and uh, not pullback is, is gas operated i do believe whereas the 416 is piston operated regardless they're both high-end ar variants and besides that in the game they perform extremely well uh, probably the two best rifles in the game. Why not compare them on bullet drop? How, how will they compare here? Look, I don't know. And how much does this matter? Because, okay, we're going to do it at 250 meters. I'm going to go ahead and put that footage up now. As you see here, I dispatched that convoy with the Mark 18 of 400 plus meters quicker than I ever have. That one last guy was just one brap and he was down. I could not believe it. When I moved up to engage the convoy, this thing had no problems there either. Like, for instance, with the, LV, the LVOAC, I had problems with the short-range engagement where it was taken, I think one guy took like seven bullets. And then with the Mark 17, which was dropping guys at like two bullets at that range, when you get up closer, it was taking like four. These weapons both are very consistent. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting this on single shot, and we're going to fire one shot at the wall at 250 meters like we always do. I should have adjusted my sensitivity, but there we go. Okay, so there's one shot with the Mark 18. Let's go ahead and see where we hit on the wall. Maybe some shadows falling over, but we can see very clearly we hit at the top of that one brick right there. I'm not going to bother to point it out for you. You can clearly see where we hit, the top of that one brick right there. Now, let's pull to 416 with the exact same accoutrement, the, you know, the exact same everything on this. We're running the ACOG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put it on single shot. And I should have changed my sensitivity. Usually I run uh, 10 to 15 percent sensitivity when I do sniping shit. That looked actually lower, maybe similar. Let's find out. I'll tell you right now, a long barrel is going to add a couple bricks higher on this wall. That hit lower. That hit at the bottom of that brick. So that does mean that with the same setup, with the comparable setup, you can see right there that uh, it's off to the side. That's just because I aimed left or right. The point is the uh, the Mark 18 hits about three quarters of a brick higher in this wall. What's that? I don't know, but what seven eight inches higher at 250 meters. Again, it's only something you adjust for. It's just something you adjust for when you aim. But still, let's go to our 416 and let's put a long barrel on it. This is gonna raise the stakes a bit because this is going to make this thing hit higher on the wall because now we have a longer barrel for more uh, long range accuracy so let's go ahead and just make the same shot we obviously hit higher it looked like about half a brick higher from back here i know for you guys it may be hard to see maybe watching on a smaller screen so let's zoom in for you um yeah half a brick higher yeah it hit halfway up that brick now what does this matter actually not much Damn, that's pretty good. Now, one discrepancy between these two weapons... Well, besides the fact... Well, actually, we'll get to that in a second. Let's try this against one more weapon, guys. We're doing bullet drop. Let's bring out... Excuse me here. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I had to cough for a second. Um, Let's bring out the best of the best of the best in bullet drop, which in the assault rifle world is the AUG A3. Let's just maximize this out, you know, as a control... Let's grab my AUG, and let's just max this sucker out. So we're going to go with the ACOG scope, because it just gives us the best zoom to aim with. Um, it doesn't matter, but we'll go ahead and put the fork grip on it. There we go. And rangefinder is already on here. Long barrel, 
and let's just put a suppressor for the sake of being, you know, sake of consistency. This should smoke the crap out of both of them, but this smokes the crap out of everything, to be fair. So, you know, take that one with you. Oops, it did that weird glitch where I'm holding a rifle. I'm holding three rifles. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Uh, my hand is stuck on my back. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just a weird glitch. Not a huge one. Okay, it only happens when you change rifles in quick succession. Let's go ahead. Looks like we have a smaller sight picture, and that is a thing sometimes. Yeah, I think that, that probably smoked the 416. Let's go find out. Should have. The Alge 3 is the highest hitting rifle I know of here. Yeah, we smoked it by about another third of a brick. Regardless, so this middle here, this middle hole, of these four holes, that middle one is the Mark 18 with the only barrel that it can equip. The 416 actually has less accuracy unless you want to run a long barrel on it, in which case it does hit higher. And then, of course, the Alge 3 I've yet to see an assault rifle that tops that. But there's probably, there's some setups I haven't tried yet. All right. So I've shown you the clip from the convoy. I've shown you compared against a couple different rifles. Let's maybe, um, let's swap my difficulty up here. Let's just do something fun for the end of the video. I, I, let's put it back on the stream. I run it on arcade for these tests because it doesn't matter. And I don't need guys running out of that base down here to attack me. So we're going to put it on extreme. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go up here. We're going to mark this base. And I just want to, I, I just got to see again how incredibly good is that really all of them? I don't believe that's all of them, but that's okay. How incredibly good this thing is at uh, engagement. We are going to run the suppressor, though. I'm usually not a fan. I usually rather run a, a compensator. Let's just see. Now, I'm not the best player, but here we go. Here we go. Whoa, I'm still in single shot. Luckily, it only took one shot. Okay. Let's keep going. We're on full auto now. I was expecting it to be on full auto. There's likely a guy hiding somewhere that my spotting didn't pick up. We don't have eyes in the sniper. That's okay. I kind of prefer to see QC if it's more fun. Ah, my aiming jam. Okay, that is a problem I have seen more and more persistent. You saw me scope in. What you probably didn't see is that I, I scoped in about three times. It's because my uh, trigger didn't go off. That's okay. Um... I'm not worried about that. Can I shoot this guy through the wall? Well, nope. I can shoot him through the window. All right. Fair enough. He's down. According to, the, according to this, there's only this sniper left, but of course, I don't believe that one. I know there's more. So let's keep our eyes open. Oh, I hate when the with the trigger jams like that. I don't know if it's a PS4 control issue or, or what it is, but it's clearly a thing where... Uh, take out the alarm. Where I scope... I, I quick scope in, pull the trigger, and nothing happens. There he is. Damn, this thing kills fast because that guy had seen me. I let the guy see me. And. Yo! Oh, Jesus Christ. I knew it didn't mark all of them. That's okay. Come on, get me up, guys. And you know what? I might just dismiss my, dismiss my team after this because I don't want them killing guys for me, which is what's going to happen. God dang it. That guy was right in front of me. Can I please kill the guy? There we go. All right, I'm going to dismiss my team because I don't want them screwing crap up for me. I don't want them killing guys for me. Damn it. Uh, where is it at? It's like under gameplay. There it is. Yes. Yes, I don't care about difficulty. All right. Wait, they're still here. God. I hit the buttons too fast. Gameplay. Yes, it will lead to inconsistencies. Thank you. There we go. I want to do this myself, is the thing. I don't need their backup. I'm trying to test the capabilities. Yeah, I ran right into that guy. Well, the thing is, hey, I was taking shots for my 3 o'clock. But then, uh, that guy too. But that's okay. I, I knew my drone didn't mark everyone. This thing kills incredibly quick. You can, you can pretty much always count, from what I've seen. On this thing, only taking one burst. Uh, where's he hitting me from? Freaking useless drone. Ah, there we go. There's some more. Where's that guy at? He's down here somewhere. Oh, he's in the... There he is. It's always embarrassing to die on camera, but I ain't gonna cut it out, you know? I mean, I died, so there's that. And then I knew there was a guy down here somewhere. I've done this base a few times because I always tested the airport. Oh, I hate, I hate that I died. Wait, there might be more. I never, never trust the, uh... 
Never ever trust your, your rebel spotting. Okay, it looks like... Looks like he's outside here. There he is. Hold up. Oh, you limey little... Alright. Got him through the wall. I thought I could. Yeah, we're clear. And we're clear. Alright, we had one tiny little death. Alright, so I, I just wanted to do that. This thing is in just incredible engagement. This was just a, a piddly little base and, and whatnot. And I, I did this with not the ideal close quarter uh, setup I would normally run. Normally I would run a compensator simply for better recoil control. And I'd run a quicker scope than the ACOG. I don't need, you know, what was that, 4X magnification. Uh, I, I don't need all that. So normally I'd run like a comp M4, shortest barrel I can, which in this case is the only barrel in that I'd run. Um compensator but this is basically my normal setup all right so anyway this thing is a really fast engagement weapon you, and we can do further tests on this i just want to just i'm just blown away by the mark 18 so i'm going to say so far this is the best assault rifle i've ever tested but yeah, yeah i made a mistake there but you know again people make mistakes i definitely make mistakes uh this is the best assault rifle i've ever tested bullet drop wise it falls a little short of the aug a3 but so does everything else it uh, it never takes more than a couple shots to kill something, even at over 400 meters. I dropped that guy with one three-round burst. It, or at least that's what it felt like. I can I'll put that up again. God damn, guys! I've never tested. So what I think is, this is simply as far as I've tested the best assault rifle in the game. Now, said I've not yet tested the Mark 16. In my last video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see me test the Mark 16 or the M110 next. The response seemed overwhelmingly towards the M110. Uh, regardless, eventually we will test both of them. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Tell me what you think about the Mark 18. I think this thing is just absolutely stellar. They need to give us a Grand Thumb inspired plaid paint job for it. What do you think? I think so. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dark Dally, and we'll catch you guys next time.